half and you know coming up with probably the biggest hit of the year for us and it was uh, it was honestly unbelievable to see him do that and uh, you know the crazy thing was is we all had the most confidence in the world in him getting that hit uh, for us. Last one I wanted to ask you you know you mentioned to us earlier how you were trying to win for Dayton Moore as one of the people that you're trying to win. Can you talk about that and the patience that he has shown in putting this ball club together for you guys? You know, Dayton's, uh, Dayton's a guy you want to play baseball for. Uh, you know he's <clears throat> I, I mean I've only played for one team, but you know Dayton is uh, probably, I mean, one of one of my favorite people in this game. Uh, to be able to, uh, you know, be around him every single day and and his competitive attitude and his uh, his nature of being such a great person, uh, it's a guy you want to be around every single day. And uh, you know, to win for him, you know, he made me a 2007 first round pick and you know drafted other guys and to win it and to make to make him, you know. I uh, finish that off, you know, to, to, to get us to where we're here now. It's, uh, it's an unbelievable feeling. Mike, congratulations. We're happy for you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hey, Moose. Uh, with what do you me, want? <laughs> hey, with, with you and Chris Young and Eddie, I mean, you guys had a lot of angels on your shoulders this year. Did, did you guys kind of feel that way, too? Uh, yeah. You know, uh, <clears throat> All that, uh, all that stuff to deal with, you know, especially with Eddie going out there and throwing tonight. But uh, you know, we had some angels on our side, and uh, you know, the ball was was able to bounce our way sometimes. And uh, you know, I'm pretty positive that uh, my mom, Eddie's dad, and CY's dad might have had something to something to do with that. But uh, you know, to be able to sit here and call ourselves World Series champions, it's uh, it's an unbelievable feeling. She's got to be pretty proud of you right now. Huh? Definitely, definitely. Uh, and my mom's not just proud of me. She's proud of everybody here. Uh, she's proud of every single person uh, that ever wore a Kansas City Royals uniform. Uh, she wasn't uh, she wasn't just proud of me. She was always always kind of the team mom. Always proud of uh, all of her sons that took the field that day. Was the team always able to keep the faith when it seemed the bleakest late innings? Somebody would start it and then it would just take off. Uh, we just never quit, man. We never give up. <clears throat> we know that we're a good team. And we know that we're going to find a way to win at some point. And, uh, you know, we believe in each other. And I think that's uh, that's the that's the main thing, is that we believe in each other. If you don't get the job done, someone's going to get the job done. And I think, uh, you know, being able to carry uh, <clears throat> carry that that mentality and that thought into the game and, you know, just try to keep the line moving each night and uh, <clears throat> believing and buying into that really helped us out. Other guys play for a long time but never have a group where the chemistry is so strong. How did that really help you guys when it came right down to it? <clears throat> We've been a we've been a close knit group for a long time, and then uh, and then you start adding pieces to the puzzle like uh, Eddie Volquez and uh, you know Alex Rios and Kedrick Morales that just make us that much more close knit of a group. So you know we uh, we all want to do this for each other. You know we wanted to go out there and win for each other, and I think that's uh, that's what made us a great baseball team.